Just yesterday, that's January 29th, 2024, 29-year-old Lauren O'Neill, a keen kayaker believed to have recently purchased a home in the region, was badly bitten by a shark during an evening swim at a private wharf at Sydney Harbour in New South Wales, Australia. Now, it was at about 7.45 p.m. that a dramatic scene unfolded at Billiard Avenue and Elizabeth Bay when Lauren, who'd been swimming just 20 meters from the jetty at the time, was mauled by what authorities now believe to be a large bull shark, causing severe injuries to her right leg. So a local who was at the scene, he ran out of his house upon hearing Lauren's blood-curdling screams and immediately noticed her propped up on the ladder external to the harbor pool, struggling to pull herself out of a large patch of blood-red water. So locals, they quickly alerted authorities, but due to the rapid blood loss, they knew that something had to be done quick, and they had no time to wait. Now miraculously, a local vet had been walking by during the time and witnessed the crowd gathered at the beach and would promptly rush over to Lauren and apply a tourniquet to her leg to help slow the bleeding. My wife's a vet and she um, basically bandaged it up and um, the bone's broken and it's pretty hectic actually. Oh, it was a completely surreal experience. I just got home from work at about 20 to 7. I'd sat down on the couch and just as I sat down, I heard a soft yell for help from outside. I looked outside and Lauren was sort of propped up on the external ladder of the harbour pool coming out of the harbour and behind her was just dark red blood and it was just surreal. I grabbed my phone and sprinted outside, called triple zero. Uh, my neighbor, Simon, was sitting on the stairs outside on the harbor's edge as well. He also called triple zero and we just went straight down to her. We were by her side, reassuring her that everything was gonna be okay. Um, within seconds, Many more neighbours came down with towels. And Fiona is an absolute hero. I believe that she saved her life. She's a vet and she had tourniquets and wraps and got straight into action. And yeah, everyone worked well. I, just, I stayed on the phone with Triple Zero and relayed any information regarding when the ambulance would be there. Um, people were holding her hand, people were uh, talking to her to keep her awake. And yeah, uh, we everyone just sort of worked together to, to make sure that she was gonna be all right. As a local ambulance arrived at the scene at about 8 p.m., paramedics from St. Vincent's Hospital assessed and treated Lauren's wounds as best as they could, but upon doing so, realized that not only was time of the essence, but if they didn't call for backup quick, they were likely gonna lose her. This was when an ambulance helicopter was promptly dispatched to the scene from Bankstown, bringing with it crucial blood transfusion products and a specialized doctor who was able to stabilize Lauren at the scene before transporting her by road to St. Vincent's Hospital, just about 1.5 kilometers away. Our paramedics found her on a private wharf with a significant lower limb injuries and a large amount of blood loss. So an investigation has been launched in hopes of finding out what species of shark it was that was responsible for the attack, and thus far all signs, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, are strongly pointing to this being the work of a large bull shark, one that locals at the scene had as well reported to have sighted frequently at the wharf. Yeah, it was around dusk as well, uh, so you know that's not, it's not a great time to be swimming from what I understand, given sharks and things in the harbour, but uh, yeah, she was, she was swimming external to the harbour pool, there's a netted harbour pool and she was on the outside of it, so uh, swimming around boats and then sort of came back into the ladder which attaches to the harbour pool and that's when I saw her sort of propped up, so I'm not sure at what point the shark had hit her, whether it was um, a little bit early before she made it to the ladder or as she was getting out, perhaps climbing up the ladder, then it got her. It, it's difficult to know exactly what happened, um, but all I know, what I saw was, it was not good. Dramatic footage on social media would then arise, posted by locals who had witnessed the incident, or at least the aftermath of it. Footage which showed Lauren being carried away on a stretcher and transported from the jetty to the ambulance. Now, City of Sydney Councillor Linda Scott would later issue a public statement saying that she was extremely concerned to hear about the attack and she went on to urge locals and anyone else to please stay out of the harbour until further notice. Lauren went on to suffer significant injuries to her leg and she also lost a massive amount of blood, but doctors at St. Vincent's, they've worked tirelessly all night to ensure that she doesn't lose her leg and as of the latest update, it appears that she's thankfully in stable condition. Now, I do want to mention before ending this video that when it comes to shark attacks, especially fatal ones, they're not too common in these waters here in Sydney, but tragedies, they have still occurred, and one of them was in fact caught on camera and happened as recently as 2022, when Simon Nellist, I'm sure you guys recall this, I've posted an episode about this, it went viral, 
He was a teacher who was brutally eaten whole by a great white shark, and it's probably one of the most difficult videos, just like the Vladimir Popov one, uh, for anyone to witness, so I do want to warn you, I do include that footage uh, as a link in a video I'm going to leave for you at the end screen of this one. I don't actually show it in the video on YouTube, but I do leave a link in the pinned comment of that video to the actual footage, and uh, I do want to warn you once again, it's really hard to stomach, so viewer discretion for that one is strongly advised. Despite this tragedy, it is worth noting that before Simon, there hadn't been a death via shark attack in these waters since 1960.